Well, it's the middle of April, guys. We haven't done too much progress, but uh, we've got her started. The first floor, anyway. I've been bringing lumber out of storage. Using it faster than I can bring it. I have to devote a whole day of just moving lumber. We don't run ourselves out. Anyway, so here's the first floor. We got these 10 foot doors. Two of them. Check out this glue lamb. Well, looks like a bunch of 2x6s glued together. Like $1,200 and some change worth of 2x6s glued together, unfortunately. So this is the garage. This will be the pickup side of the garage. Have maybe a little toolbox back in here, a little workbench on that side. We've got the shallower end of the garage here. Put the sedan over here. This is going to be the stair run. So here you'll walk in the door. Here's the front door. Of course, when the Jehovah's Witnesses pulled up in the driveway, they won't be able to figure out how to get in the house. Door off to the left. Stair run go this way. We're going to do some steep stairs. So we can pull away from the door. Have the door all the way open up without having any issues. Another door there. Of course, it's all going to be fireproof uh, have to use the thick sheet rock the interior of the garage this is gonna be basically when you come in walk to the right this will be the mudroom area take off shoes sit down hang your coat up what have you this will be a bathroom here folks there's the pooper that's gonna be a shower quick shower sink and uh, a wall hang your stuff up then, uh, you know, continue on up to the top of the house. Take a load off. Bedroom. Master bedroom will be back in that corner over here. Bathroom will be directly almost underneath the uh, mudroom area as you walk in. it would be a closet up in this area. And this will all be front dining, or excuse me, uh, front living area up here. We're going to have a porch out front. And that's later to come. The second level is going to be pretty tall up. So these are the pillars that will hold the porch up there. It'll be pretty interesting. This foundation, by the way, came out pretty stout. It's got rebar in there, fiber core around the edges. That's what uh, 41 yards of concrete looks like. Get her up, get her out of the wet. I'll tell you a few different things. It'd be hard to have a bug issue ever later on in life. It'd be hard for them little suckers to get in here. They usually crawl under the house and get in through that way, but good luck crawling through the house. Not coming in this one. Of course, we're gonna bring in gravel and this will be flush for the entry of the garage later on. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, foundation. So, underneath here, the rock heaps up. In some spots, it's up to eight and a half inches thick. Eight inches. We went with seven in most spots. So, we shouldn't have any issues with pickups or anything in here. I got these windows, so I'm 6'4". And the windowsill, basically up to the brim of my hat. I'm standing flat foot here. So if you're gonna have somebody that thinks they're gonna look in, good luck. These are mostly just for ambient light. Set your Tonka toys up here on the windowsill. Got a big window in the back. You can see what's going on while we're working in the garage. Let some light in. In case you wanna roll a hot rod in here and work on it later on. Pretty interesting build. Had to play with some things, change some things around. Of course, we're gonna have stair storage here. 
all underneath. That's about it. We'll keep building on her. We'll get her done by dry season. It's one thing I don't like to do, folks. It's building houses in a rainstorm. I don't like to see this in the rain. Let me tell you a little secret while we're talking about OSB. I've heard a few times now, and of course, you know, the lumber yards won't tell you this or admit to it, but it seems like when this OSB gets wet, okay, you're thinking, yeah, it gets wet and it dries out. Well, the glue inside of this, inside of this OSB, there's something in it that attracts ants. And it seems to be much worse after it's gotten wet or stays in a wet environment. Something to do with these ants. They just love that glue or that polymer. Whatever the manufacturing process is, ag the moisture brings that stuff out. And the ants, I don't know what they do. I don't know if they eat it or crawl all over it or find something to, to slurp up. But I'm going to tell you folks, there's something to do with wet plywood. Excuse me. Wet OSP and ants if you can get anybody to admit to it I don't know if they damage the wood but obviously you know if it's in a wet environment it's gonna start molding and you're gonna get rot but before that even takes place the ants love feasting on OSB I'm not sure if it's carpenter ants, piss ants, biting ants but they got to have the OSB after it's gotten wet. So before you go and close up a house, and it's nice and moist, whatever it may be, always check for them ants. We'll talk to you later over here in Sio.